The SLS AMG GT3, a purpose-built race car for both short sprints and endurance races. This is the first time that a Mercedes AMG has raced competitively in the United States in more than 15 years. For the Black Swan team, the stakes and intensity are at their highest. This is their story, giving us an all-out access behind the scenes to the intense passion that it takes to be the very best. I'm Will Vetter, Assistant Product Manager of Mercedes-Benz AMG. And we're here with Black Swan Racing to take a behind the scenes look of what it takes to race the SLS AMG GT3. My uncle has always been a, a real gearhead and he bought me a go-kart and you know just started terrorizing the neighborhood and it was a five horsepower go-kart with slick tires. And at one point we took it out on the, the local high school running track um, <laughs> and it just you know was bitten very hard by the bug. So you got to tell me about the team that supports you. A good portion of the guys in Black Swan Racing have been with me since 2008. Tim asked me to come aboard in uh, 2008. We put together all the trailer and the tractor and all the equipment, purchased all the things that we needed to do go racing. Started developing the team. Uh, you know, it takes a long time to put a great team together. When you think about team, there has to be a passion. And, uh, and we're very passionate about what we've been doing and how we do it. My job is everything related to the car itself. So when the car hits the track, it's got the right springs, it's got the right dampers, it's got the right wing setting. You know, we have probably 30 different things that we can adjust on this car, and every one of those things has a value that's my job to determine what the right value is. So I interface with the, the crew chief, Bernie, uh, who manages all the mechanics, and then, uh, you know, the relationship with Tim, the driver, making sure that all that information gets, you know, passed through me, basically, to the Mechanics. I originally uh, did my undergrad at MIT. From an engineering perspective, there's nowhere that gives you that immediate, you know, trial and error feedback. You know, you, you know right away whether or not the change you made worked, and then you can go in another direction. Um, and no other industry moves at the pace that, that we have to move at. I've been with Black Swan, this is my third year. And the setup varies at each track. I'd say probably two and a half to three hours to get everything out of the truck, everything up, you wanna go racing. You know, and you have to wanna be here. I mean, well, come on, you go to the track, you hang out with your buddies, there's fast cars, it's amazing. You know, what else would you wanna do? I really thought that I'd sit out this season. Once I knew that we really were gonna run this car, and I saw it, uh, I was just blown away. I mean, it's just an incredible car. And, makes me feel excited and makes me feel like a little kid. The car looking like it does and the car being so exotic makes it very easy to kind of promote on Facebook, on Twitter, you know, pictures of it. People love it, and especially at the track. You know, I get women mostly come up to me and they're like, oh my God, that, that car's amazing, I love it. <laughs> you know, a lot of the guys, you, you just see the outside, you see how, how beautiful it is. And it's obviously a very beautiful car, but you know, you open up the hood and you start to get into the details and that's what, what really, you know, gets me fired up. The thing that I look at is that giant beam that goes between the two front wheels mm -hmm. and that just makes the whole front of that car so stiff um, and it makes it a, a really good platform for handling uh, and for making adjustments to the car. What AMG has done developing this race car is really unbelievable. For the most part, the car comes to us from Germany and we're able to just get in the car and go racing. We have 250 sensors on this car measuring wow. absolutely everything. We have gigabytes and gigabytes worth of data, you know, from every racetrack we go to in every session. We log everything all the time because you never know when there's some little bit of information that's going to be useful to you. We did a two-day test at Sebring uh, prior to running it in the first race, and by the end of the second day, I mean, we were, you know, we almost had to leave early because, you know, Tim was so happy with the balance of the car, what we'd achieved in that, that short amount of time. The car itself is bulletproof and we have just such an amazing experience working on it, and then I'm the luckiest on the whole team because I get to drive it. So you guys are cool, everything's good? Yeah. Anything else that stands out? Anything we need to do? Other than that, the car is pretty good.
again. Negative. Stay left, stay left. all best of friends and when you're working in this environment it's all about having fun you know we do this for fun we do this because we're passionate about it but above all we do it because we have fun uh, spending time together and going racing when you're a guy who does what I do which is I have a job and a family and a yep. career you know, I'm not getting paid to do this. I'm doing this for fun and for passion. I want the absolute safest, best car that I can possibly get. And as unbelievable as this car is, driving this car, I'm, I'm sort of already salivating about what the next generation will bring. The only thing left for Tim and the team to do here is to take the lessons they've learned here, pack up, and head to the next track. We really hope you've enjoyed this behind-the-scenes look at the SLS AMG GT3.